I think sometimes, and I, and I know I and I know I definitely did this when I was younger. You just feel like you have to meet everyone, like today. You know what I'm saying? And I think one thing I learned, and I, I got great advice again from from my brother Chris. Like, you know, you should focus on what's in front of you, master what's in front of you, and at the end of the day, what's in front of you is going to lead to that which you don't know. So it's just kind of like I think when I first got in this business, I was just like, you know, I was one of them kids like when I was trying to get in this business, like. Find, like I was able to figure out anyone's email so I would randomly hit people up and pretend like I met them and all sorts of shit like that and then when I really got in this business I guess I just realized like oh that's irrelevant like what you want is a real connection with somebody you want like a real relationship for them to know you and you to know them and sometimes that takes time like it's not something that may necessarily happen today or tomorrow but it's about using what you have and ultimately making that work for you and then all the other shit will come along because if you're doing your thing in this circle, it's only a matter of time before the people in the circle next to it hear about you. And then you, maybe you know someone here who knows someone in this circle, so they've introed you. And it's just like, just you can't be but so pressed, you know what I'm saying? Like to, to meet everybody all the fucking time. Like at the end of the day, do your thing and, and kick ass and make your connects when you have your moments. Like don't try to steal moments. Like live in the moment that you have. And then those other moments will come. That's funny. We had a producer once, and he was out, and somehow he ended up in the strip club with, I think it was like Ross or somebody, <laughs> and he's like sitting there like, should I tell him about these things? <laughs> and it's like, no, no. <laughs> no, but but see, the, and and it's interesting that you say that because like I'm, um, <laughs> I try to I try to be real. I'm saying all the time, and I try to I try not to be so consumed with myself and like, oh, I'm this A and R, and I work at this company, and I do this. Like if you see me at a strip club or you see me at a club, I'm there trying to drink and get on chicks. You know what I'm saying so it's just kind of like. I may not be in the mood to hear about the beats that you had. You know what I'm saying? I may just be like, all right, cool, take my card, take my number, peace. And then, I, or I just may be on some like just not trying to talk to you shit. But you, if you see me at the supermarket, maybe, and I'm chilling, maybe I'm in the mood to talk then. I just think it's really about gauging the opportunity and just not being like. Again, I'm I'm a, I'm a I'm a spiritual person, so at the end of the day. Your only opportunity is not going to be seeing me in the strip club. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like God does better than that for, for people who want to do stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just like it's not like God's like okay he's drunk but go get him. Like, like, God's way better than that. You know what I'm saying?